Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to do my base tour. I've had a couple people ask me for that, so I'm going to go ahead and knock that out. First things first, uh, you see Steve decided to join me up on the rock today in my main base. This stink bug uh, sometimes spawns up here with me. So, I'll just, you saw me put on my bow, I've got my feather arrows on, marksman's cap, sharpshooter uh, mutation. As long as he doesn't break anything, I'm okay. And just shot a bit. So, that is a an issue I have, is Steve likes to come up and visit me. I have named the stink bug and the bombardier beetle that uh, spawned by my base. Uh, there's Bob. That's Bob the bombardier. But... This is my main base. It started out with just the building, the water, uh, the water collectors, and I had a different shed storage system than what I have here, as well as I initially had two of these buildings. I had another one right here, but it was just too much and I wasn't using the top half of it anyway. So in the main building, which you can see is one, two, three, four, five sections wide and on that side is one, two, three, four. So basically it's a five by five building. I just cut out this little corner for, you know, a little shape. I didn't, basically I did that because the flooring right here was starting to go into, you see how it goes right here, and down into the actual uh, stone floor right there. So that's why I didn't go a full square, because it wouldn't look right. And I was limited on clay. <laughs> so I have tons of storage in here. I have my food, more food, uh, construction and or repair materials, a box for bugs, more construction materials, more food, uh, two boxes of smoothies in case I have people come and play with me so they can have a whole bunch themselves. Um, random boxes, boxes for the special arrows such as, you know, venom, feather, gas. I don't do lore arrows. Random box of just whatever. Box for the armor sets that I have to make for the burgle missions. And then a box for each of the three people that might join me. So each player would basically have their own box full of stuff. You come in, you pick a box, and you can take all the stuff out of it. Obviously you can't hold everything out of it because there's 40 sections down here. There's only 30 sections up here. And then above that is where I have the, uh, come on, get over there. For decoration only, because they won't let us sit in the chairs yet. I also have a table that you can't, uh, you can't do this anymore where you put the light in the center of the table. I have the actual little bedroom just for, once again, decoration, not necessary. The bed. I have an armor dummy for every set of armor. I have multiple sets of armor. I don't know how that armor dummy got damaged. When the spinning wheel came out, I decided I was gonna make a little shed and put a whole bunch of spinning wheels in here. I have 12 out here, so I can, if I load them all up, I can get 48 silk ropes. It's just a little two by two square with a roof. And then because it's, you know, silk rope, I put a spider head up there on, on the mount for decoration. This is something that I hope they fix soon, that the water droplets are on the bottom. I've got my four dew collectors, four water catchers. On the bottom floor of this building, which if I stand to the side, you see is one clay foundation, plus the one underneath the stairs, and then four walls deep, which just hanging out, hanging out over the middle or out of, over nowhere, basically cantilever, I think is the correct term. I've got the six mushroom uh, gardens. These are more used for the uh, the smoothie question marks for healing. And uh, once again, a little more decoration. I have seven um, jerky racks up here. Because I can farm bombardiers quite easily, this wasn't a problem. So if you, you can fit five all up against that wall as close as you can get, turn another two long ways, and it gives you more than enough room to reach in here. And yes, you can get all three pieces off of there with no problem. Same thing, more clay foundation, just to kind of make everything nice and smooth and have everything on a, on a nice even level. I've got 10 uh, pallets down here, three pallets for weed stem up there, and just kind of go around the back so you can see the, the size of that. It's just three pallet, three sections wide and just one section high. You see the grass floor right there. That's what these pallets are sitting on is a grass floor halfway up the wall and then another grass floor at the top for holding these. This base is located 
on the rock at the western end of the flower garden, or the flower beds. There are there are spiders and such that do spawn in this area, but up here on the top, unless Steve decides to come visit you, you're pretty safe. You do have great materials all around, and we have a spider that just gets stuck in what was my my weevil trap is now a spider trap apparently. I've got thistle needles for arrows, weeds, dandelions. That one needs to regrow still. It's uh, regrowing. I have weeds there. I had dandelions over there, but well, they need to regrow. As well as I'm gonna go up to the to the roof now. Get a really good view from the top of the tower. Now with the zip lines in here, I had to add towers. So the top of this building was the prime choice for this space. I'm gonna step back for a second to get a the full view. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen stories tall. And it's not the tallest one I have. I have one that's taller than that. But I have a video on building this square, uh, this rectangle design, or a video for building um, an oct uh, octagon shaped. You could do a little, you know, two by two square instead of a two by uh, two by three uh, rectangle. Uh, it'd be a little bit, a little bit more cluttered, but so be it. The western anthill is right there. Let me turn my markers back on. There's more weeds right around the western anthill. There's more weeds a little bit further away. I've got weeds right there. Plenty of grass. Uh, I've got all kinds of, um, I'm thinking of it, clover leaves over here, along with sprigs and everything else can there. The human food spawns right down here. Matter of fact, let me go get my mint mallet and we'll see what's back there. Because if it's the cookie or the candy corn, it takes a hammer. And so I'll bring that with me real quick. And this is another good look another good thing about this location. I never had to worry about food. There's always food here. So this used to be able to be cut with an axe. Now you have to bust it. And the cookie will give you ten pieces. This will be a rather lengthy video. I will do a timestamp in the description below for each of my five bases. Yes, I do have five bases. I am prepared for most of the future updates that I know are coming. But you can see he's stuck in here. And really, if I wanted to be a pain in the ass, I literally just punch him to death. I don't, I'm not going to, not for the sake of the video, just to speed things along. So let's put the cookie away real quick, which is this box. You see, candy corn does spawn there too sometimes, not always. I've found the cookie there most uh, most of the time lately. The hot dog has been the number one uh, thing, though. I have hot dog pieces everywhere. Now, we'll ride up to the top of the tower, and we're going to go over to Red Base, which is my clay, my, uh, oh, let me think of it, my berry farming, and my water flea farming, which I have videos for all three of those, and it's all done out of that base over there. And I also have a video up of getting on top of these uh, lasers. I'll pick up some speed here in a second. You see them, the body starts going back. This tower used to be less than half that tall. And he never, like how see how his legs are swinging back? That never happened. It was that slow to get across the yard. This is still not, you know, super fast compared to some other ones. But it's faster than me running and it's safer. So there's a scheme on top of, I want to say there. And there's a scheme up on top of that one. I have a video up if you want to know how to get an easy, simple way to get up there uh, using just grass planks. Uh, I have a video, it's I believe, uploading right now. So we're just sliding along. This is a great time if you're if you're uh, if you're playing and you're thirsty, you want to get something to drink. Hop on a zip line, get yourself something to drink. But this is definitely faster than trying to run across the yard and. 100% safer unless you hit the control key to drop as you see in the bottom center of the screen or if you hit the space bar My larvae are still playing in the water where they don't belong You see the several of them there. They're walking on water So I'm gonna drop when I get closer. Actually, I'm gonna just drop here Dandelion tough to save me. This is my, my This is my fourth base. This is the fourth one I built and it is for playing in the 
hedges, going after water fleas, or clay, which I just collected, so you're not going to be able to see any. It's also got... The problem with this is there's no... Uh, there's no weed stems nearby. So when I built this before zip lines were a thing, you couldn't do that. I have to test. I believe we can slide on zip lines while holding stuff. And I will test that in this video. So I first built just the four clay columns and the green grass was underneath. I laid out a bunch of blueprints, completed the clay on top of it and deleted the blueprints underneath. You can't do that anymore. So building a base like this is, is not possible unless you want to uh, you spend all of the clay and pebblets to build all the foundation and then come back through and hollow out the underneath area. But as you can see, there are no weed stems nearby. There's plenty of grass nearby, so I don't have to worry about that. I put a bunch of spinning wheels in the basement. I've got boxes down here. I could add more shelving, like right there, but then I couldn't reach the ones underneath. So up here is, you know, smoothie maker, a couple more spinning machines mushrooms, uh, water container. I originally had two dew collectors right here out in front blocking pretty much all of this. And then I realized I could use the roof. So I placed them across the roof. I have five up here, so I don't have to worry about water in this side of the yard anymore. Same thing, small little bedroom. A couple of weapon, uh, weapon racks, just so I can leave my spear and shovels and stuff here. Every base has its own mint mallet. Jerky racks because you can get a lot of gnats from that island right there, which is only 140 centimeters away. And then, of course, a workstation because every base should have a workstation so you can build stuff. And then before the hedge base, before the hedges even happened, I built a set of stairs. You don't need the stairs to get up there. They're just easier. You can go to the left of it and get up here with no problem. So you don't have to build to go up that little gap. You don't even have to build to get up here. You can uh, jump on certain uh, clover leaves and make the jumps. Or you can just grab a whole bunch of grass planks because there's grass everywhere and build up. Now this, like I said, this is the base for playing in the hedges. This base was built because I knew the hedge update was coming. So I put a base close by as well as uh, for the clay. The water fleas I didn't know were coming right away. So that's just kind of an added bonus. It also allows me access to the bird bath, which uh, I have a video on how to get out to the bird bath. There's a new way now. So we're going to take our way up. The, this is the octagon shaped tower. And like I said, this could be smaller, but I didn't want it to look too cramped. I do stream every day. Links in the description below. And I wanted the things to be visually appealing for stream. So that is just a quick little rundown of that base. It's not very big. It's really only meant for the hedges and the clay and every now and then some water fleas. Now we're going to head over to a blue base. You see I have three base markers right there. I have blue base, which you can see the tower on the screen right there just past the, my character's right hand. Green base is on the other side of the tree. That's my pond base. And then I have a base up on the back wall for when they open up the upper part of the backyard. Uh, when they when the lag stops being such a problem for me from me building, I'll put more bases back there. And then my mod one of my mod Kato yell at me. So this platform for receiving incoming zip lines is up kind of high because you have to be over the top of the grass, or else the line of sight is obstructed. There's a uh, stink bug right down there, and that tower over there is 15 stories tall, I believe. I forgot to check. So we're going to hop down here, and I just kind of go quick how I started this. When I first built it, putting an entire wall of clay foundation or public foundations was not necessary because you could put up a bunch of blueprints, build across top, and delete the blueprints. Well, now you can't do that. So this is basically how you would have to build it. You would have to build these up just like this and go across. Every now and then I do get a spider stuck here at the front door, and I have to deal with him you know, when that happens. I just went clay foundation all over the top of the second short pile or the second pylon, which is short. The building itself is actually built out over the, the open air. You can see down through the floor right there. You can see some spike strips down there for spiders and stuff. I have food production on the bottom section down here with shelves with plenty of storage. 
pretty much for everything. Everything has its own box. Everything has its, uh, a place. There's some boxes up top, but those are different boxes. Those are special. Workstations down here as well. Then I came up to the, se the third pylon, covered it in clay foundation, and put my water storage. This the this water so this dew, dew collector and this dew collector originally ran along the fence, basically blocking it all the way in. Well, I needed to get out this way, so I had to tear them down and turn them sideways. So I left myself a way to get out, so I could get to my tower, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, eight, seventeen. That's also 18 stories tall with the receiving platform on one, two, three, four, five, six. So at the top of uh, the sixth floor, that's where the receiving platform is. That way it guarantees me uh, height over all the grass. And you see I have a line coming in from, uh, I believe that is coming in from yellow, coming in from green, coming in from purple. And the only one that red sends out is that one right there going in. All of my bases are color coded. Main base is purple. That Clay base is red. This uh, base at the flower in the flower uh, the flower garden, which is to the western edge of the eastern flower bed. So basically, you go to the eastern flower gardens and get as close to the tree as you can, and that's where this base is located. Up on the first pillar that you can get to is where I put a little bit of storage. I only went one high instead of two because I put my walls down on the pylon itself instead of on the clay, so I didn't. I don't have as much storage. I don't really need it. As you can see, most of my storage is empty. I have to refill. A lot of work to do. I could put a few more things up here, but I'm not trying to have everything cluttered. So I just put a few lights. That way, up here at night, after, say, collecting weeds, I have uh, visibility. And then up here is just the little sleeping area. I only have one spinning wheel here. I may take that down and turn it sideways so I can put a few more. Or I may just go put it somewhere else altogether. Obviously, the bed. A couple of weapon racks. Now... I'm not sure what happened, but I have two sets of bee armor. I don't know if you guys noticed, there's a, a this is the rotten bee armor out of the anthill. I have another armor dummy just like this over in purple base, also wearing the exact same set of armor. Food, healing smoothies. This is the pollen. Pollen, if you read it, says flower discharge that bees go nuts over, which is why there's nothing on the roof here. That pollen drops in the ground all underneath the uh, these red flowers. I haven't noticed them anywhere else. So bees are coming. They are on the roadmap. And I have a feeling we're going to get bee lures. Therefore, this base is my bee base or blue base. So that way, if the bees do happen, I can put lures up here and draw them in because you're going to have to kill them in order to get the tier two spear. Now, we're going to go for a little run on top of to the top of here and we're going to head to green. I have to make sure of exactly which line I pick because I have two lines that are almost on top of each other. One line takes you to right above the Burgle Bot for when I want to get more raw science. Not that I need any. I'm at 31,000 after buying everything. So if you're waiting for the update to go live, make sure you have about 24,000 raw science saved up because when you get the chip that is in the hedge base, it's going to cost you almost 24,000 to buy everything. So each line has a home. The top line here is to green base. The bottom line is to my anchor right above the bot. This line goes across the water. I want the very top one. That's why the little platform is there, so I don't have to run and jump and pray I catch the correct one. Had I caught the wrong one, well, this, this also connects to the exact same spot I'm headed to. But that is my anchor to go down to the burgle bot. You see all my bases uh, link into it. And then it links out to drop off right here. You can get some pretty good speed on some of these. On some of these zip lines. Now this is my pond bait. My pond build. I went into creative mode to do this first. I recommend any kind of build go to creative mode first. I came over here. I was looking for a good spot. And then I saw. As soon as I stopped jumping up in the air. This bit of rock actually sticks out of the water just a little bit. Well, let me go under there now. So you used to be able to walk underneath there, not anymore. But the rock sticks out, and you can, you can kind of see it going up right there. And you can build your foundations right off of that. Bring your foundations out, and then it's a grass build from there, because foundations can't go anymore. So I've, 
I'm from South Louisiana, and Bayou Boat Houses, well, that's what they look like for the most part. I mean, they're not going to be like stairs like this, but they're going to have the openings. It's going to have a similar shape. May not be like angled and all that kind of stuff, but I wanted to have you give a little bit of a uh, little bit of class. So you have your openings to get in and out of the water. Yes, these stairs do go down into the water, so I can get out of the water on them. It's a little tricky, but it does work. You know, a little spamming of the space bar. I then gave myself plenty of space over here for storage. There's weed stems. You see them on the screen right there. So these stay full. The grass isn't nearly as close, so they're not full. And I've got builds you see planned up there, so I'm going to need more, more, uh, a lot more grass. I put the water dew collectors out here. I only, need, I only put two. I probably need more, but I didn't. I, keep, I always keep uh, at least one water container close by and full. Workbench is down here. Up on the second floor, I put a couple of jerky racks in the corner. I've got boxes. You know, mo Most of this is like build materials, rope, clovers, grass, um, sprig, dry grass. Now this is where my liquid gills are stored because of all the, ba of all the bases, this one's on the water, liquid gills go here. I will eventually have a box in every base that is full of full canteens. Since they did uh, they did that update a while uh, in the beginning of September on September 4th. No, that was a different one. And, uh, and it was in August when everything stopped working. Every base has its own set of ant armor. The ant armor that belongs in blue base is actually on me right now. And then... I have boxes, a few more boxes here. These shelves are to put more boxes in up high, like I had in blue base. I have jerky on me, so I need to put that away. Let me hang up that gnat meat real quick. A little maintenance in the video. And then I built out, you know, a little, little uh, balcony over the water. And I put my mushroom gardens on the roof. I could have put my dew collectors up here, but... I use them more than I do these things, so these are basically used just for making the smoothie question marks. So you see, it is getting late. It is 1930 in the game. So we'll be sleeping at this base and then going up the tower. Now I could just go right here to the receiving platform and then slide across. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go all the way to the top because this is the big tower. This is the the uh, the massive tower. Since I had to, I had to gain enough height coming off the water. So we'll stand over here to the side. You can see it's pretty well lit. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's a nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 stories. I technically should have raised it one more just to keep in the aesthetic of uh, the threes, but I didn't. I was just like, nope, I'm not doing that. Originally, this had a bunch of stairs, and it required me doing a bunch of spinning all the way up the stairs to get to the top of the tower. And after thinking about it, and because I stream every day and use these towers all the time, I realized, one, that gave me a headache. And two, if it gives me a headache, my, my viewers is probably giving them even worse of a headache. I don't know about so, the every base has a bed. This was my third base that I built, because I was hoping the pond update would come soon. I was wrong. So, red base is the is the one utilized for the hedges. Now, we're going to take uh, eat something real quick. Get some water. Get that out of the way. And we're going to, you know, take a couple bounce webs and go up. Now, with bounce webs, it makes all these buildings a lot cheaper and easier and faster to build. I could take that zip line across because the receiving end of this is actually at the pond. And then we have to go up on top of the wall. But... We're going to go up a little higher just for the to show you that the steeper the angle, the faster the ride. All right. Now you see I have I'm setting up a few planks along the edge because if I were to grab that right now and slide, my feet might hit that wall and I would fall off. I build this plank, I walk out there, jump on, no problem. But now you see we're going to get across the, the pond in no time and momentum will carry you off of this 
I will show you at the end of the video that the momentum from purple going to Burglebot will carry me clean off the, the log it's on. Now, before I built this, you see all the weeds that are cut down. Some regrow, some don't. I had 15 or about 15 weed stem pallets back here, 100% full, and another seven grass stem pallets or grass plank pallets full. I had been preparing for this build for a while. And finally, the other day, I said, you know what? I'm doing it. Let's build. So this is just a little elevator to even get up there. It's four bounce webs. The last bounce web, actually, you jump out of the tower and land on the little dock, which is all connected up here. And this is my big open air base. That is set up for me when they open up the back end. The upper part of the backyard, I have plenty of water, water storage, a little bit of food manufacture, lots of... Uh, storage for weed stems which need to be brought up right now also I, I like spinning wheels and when this when they give us the B uh, art hang on let me find it it's not in the game yet so I can't say I find it but like you'll get a stuffed B or like a stuffed gnat if you were to build that you actually have to hang it off of something well you can do that with the, the stuffed B as well if you go in creative mode you'll see what I'm talking about up here, I've got just boxes that surround this whole open area. I can then do more shelves like you saw in green and blue base right above this if I need even more shelves. Honestly, I don't think I do. Because I have a box right here that has no use. And then a couple of weapon racks on the wall, armor dummies. Now these armor dummies, you notice they're facing the wrong way. That's because I want them to face the wrong way. I actually want them to face out bed table with no light in the middle because they changed how we can do that and then again decoration now this tower didn't need to be that tall this is only six stories on top of the building so basically two bounce webs get you up here same thing about the little platform and so i didn't have to like try and jump and catch the right one i could walk out and specifically pick the one i wanted so i'm actually going to ride back to purple i should have just grabbed it from right here I'll show you what I'm talking about with momentum on the zip lines. So, we're going to just slide and slide and slide. Which, zip lining across the pond is definitely faster because if not, I would have to run all the way that way, wait for my stamina, run some more, wait for my stamina, and then finally get there. This is just a straight shot. And I'm getting pretty good speed because I've got a very high tower to a very low point. And then I'm going to go up this tower real quick. And the last part of the video is going to be me heading towards Burglebot. Now, my zipline anchor is in the front facing the center of the yard. Got to be mindful of that. It has to have a clean line of view, so I had to be wary of that. If I ever build a tower back here, I can literally take out these walls to let, let the zipline come in. Or take down the anchor, set out a... Uh, Put a receiving platform off to the side and continue on. But we're going to go to the top of this tower, which you see this is the rectangle. This one takes a little bit more resources to build than the octagon because it's 10 sided versus 8. If you're farming wolf spiders, this zip line takes you right over where one of them is sleeping right over there. There's also one there, and there's, of course, the one underneath the rock. Now, I did the same thing. I built the little platforms because you see I have five lines to pick from. I want the middle one. Now this one gets really good speed going down. And we're gonna just slide. This is if I wanna get more raw science uh, or more missions to get raw science. This is where I go. Also gives you a really nice view of the yard. Look at all the feathers. Damn. You see, I don't collect feathers that often because I have a box that's got like a hundred and something feathers in it. So a spider there. I have a wolf spider that lives right down there and momentum now if I put up a handrail it would stop that but it doesn't is he home my wolf spider likes to sleep right there he's not home but that is a quick tour not really quick it's a almost 30 minute long video but it's it's the tour of what I have built so far my intentions are to put a base in that corner of the pond and which will then link back to here and eventually have a base somewhere along that wall over there as well but that those two won't happen 
until we get the upper part of the backyard done. I wanted to have one main base for the upper part already kind of stocked, but if you noticed, none of my bases look the same. There's only two of them that have anything in, in uh, that are similar, and that is my main base and this blue base that I'm running back towards, so i got to put armor back in it. And that's the cantilever building. Everything else, all the rest look, uh, look very different. I guess you could say yellow and red have something different that they're it's something similar that they're using the massive pebblet foundation columns to support the the upper floor. But other than that, they are all very different from each other. And I did that on purpose. I didn't want my bases to look like I just did the same thing over and over and over again. So like I said, every base has its own set of ant armor for when I want to build. And then that's about it. Um, as far as if you have any questions about how I build something, why I build something, I stream every day on Twitch. Come visit me in chat. Ask me all the questions you want. I will happily, you know, dem stop what I'm doing because I've got stuff to do all the time. And if you want to see which base looks like what or how I build something or get a uh, more in-depth look at even these towers, stop by the stream. Ask. I'll gladly help out. But until the next video... Y'all have a good one.